that was a difficult game, Dom, but some good flashes from Gloucester too. Yeah, definitely. I thought, I thought what we did with the ball in the second half particularly was very positive. Um, but like you like to touch on there, but some difficult moments. They had some very powerful players and experienced internationals in their side, which, um, you know, the, the young Gloucester side worked hard to contain eventually. Yeah, I, I, I don't think physically we were... It was an acceptable Gloucester rugby performance. Uh, the physicality, particularly in that first half, was way off. And um, I thought the, the positive is we responded to that message in, uh, in the second half, but yeah, we, weren't, we weren't where we wanted to be, we needed to be. The resilience showing through at the end to, to fight to the end, two late tries, uh, five tries on the board for, for Gloucester, but uh, that resilience came too late. Yeah, like, like I said, I thought we did some really good stuff with the ball in, in the second half. I thought George Barton and, and Billy Twelfthews moved the ball really well. But um, as you can see, 50 points, you're always going to lose again. It's, it's a difficult competition, isn't it? Because uh, you come through with a, with a young side and play a young side. You don't know what you're going to meet opposition-wise. Do you get a chance to develop a team with a rhythm in, in the way the competition runs? It, it's, a, it's a challenge, naturally, because you play you know, a few games and a few far between the games. Um, but it's like that for everyone in the competition. And I definitely thought Exeter looked more gelled than us today, um, for, for, particularly from a defensive point of view. Is, uh, you, you probably looked at the tables. You hopefully know more about the, the structure of the media. Do you think there's a chance of this team being able to develop have another stab in later stages in this competition? Yeah, I, well, we won't go through as, in the top of our competition, uh, top of our uh, table, um, table, obviously. But um, I think there's an opportunity as a second runner-up, but that will be based on whether I believe London Irish uh, win their game. So I mean, we're in the hands of the gods now, so um, that's frustrating. But. So is there a structure in front of some of these young players of game time in the future, regardless of this competition? How, how is that going to pan out for them? Yes, yes, I believe so. Like we've got a good, good connection with Hartbury, um, so that, that, that relationship's been, um, been very fruitful this year, so I'm sure some of the lads will get opportunities there. So it's a pretty flat change room in there, even though there's some bright spots to be able to highlight maybe next week in, in feedback. Yeah, I, just to clarify then, it's, it's unacceptable to concede 50 points when you're in a roster show. So. Dom, thanks for your time.